He can swim. He can ride a bicycle and transport people and goods from one place to another. And he can also perform some stunts and skills on a motorbike. He uses a skate professionally even though he's physically impaired. This does not stop the man from living a life to the fullest. Auguste was born with both arms. Growing up, he was always interested in doing many things, starting from riding bicycles, motorbikes, skates, and many more. He is a kind of a person who always wanted to learn and have different skills. He was unlucky, he grew in a poor family. He went to school but never graduated due to lack of enough money. He then started fighting with life, struggling to earn a living. By then, he still had both arms. He brought a bicycle and started transporting goods and people on that bicycle, hence earning a few money. This covered a few of his personal needs and life was not bad. One early morning in 2015, he woke up and went to his daily business as usual. But this day was not just a normal day. It was going to be one of his worst days he will never, ever forget. He loaded the bicycle with more goods. On his way to deliver goods, he lost balance and crashed his bicycle into a car, hence losing the arm immediately from that accident. He was quickly taken to the hospital and spent there some days. After recovering, he started learning how one can survive after losing his right arm. <laughs> <coughs> Having lived a life without parents made the man brave enough and he had the guts to go again and ride bicycles for survival. As he could clearly see that there was no any other way for the man to survive. As he's not a person who always depends on others. He has always tried to be self-reliant though the world has always been against him. But he says he will keep pushing unto him the sky is the limit. One of the motivations the man had for him to have the audacity to go again was the way he lived far from home. There was no any other mode of transport, yet he had not enough money. He remembered he had a bicycle parked at his house. As a person who was used to riding, it was not a big deal. He carried on, then went back to market and other places doing the same old business that nearly took his life away. As someone who taught himself different skills before he lost the arm in the accident, he tried motorbikes once again and this time he was riding as if nothing changed. Up to now, if the man has some time, he rents a motorbike and enjoys the ride, mostly on weekends. And this is making him a star in town. He's inspiring the next generation. Well, it all wasn't easy after the tragic accident. It took him some time for him to again develop the confidence. But as time went by, the guy went on getting used to what he did before he had both arms. 
and now he's even doing it better than when he had both arms functioning. One of the daily challenges as a person who transports goods and people from one place to another is that some people refuse and fear to go on his bicycle in fear that this man would crush them down. It's a big challenge to him as he also understands that not everyone can trust the man. But as days go on, they are getting used to see him each and every day. They come to him and he does the rest. Although there's still a big gap where people consider being transported by Augustine is a big risk. To him, he does not consider himself to be disabled. In his words, he says, It's a lie to think that you're not good enough. It's a lie to think you're not worth anything. This is the reason why the man is trying and he's excelling in whatever he tries. This is what makes him a true inspiration. His attitude makes people feel they can do anything and they shouldn't care on what others say. After losing the arm, he learned another skill. He's now one of the best skaters in this town as he uses skates everywhere possible. To him, he's never afraid of taking risks. This man is also a swimmer. He can dive and do all what other swimmers can do. And whenever he has a lot of stress and needs to rest and recharge, he goes to a swimming pool so as to refresh. He says he wants to train and put his swimming skills to another level that he might compete in the Olympic Games. And all we can say is wishing him all the best. The sky is the limit. Back to his daily business, he says things have not been good these previous days, as his bicycle was stolen a week ago. The bicycle fed and covered almost his personal needs, but ever since it was stolen, life is becoming more and more difficult. For him to earn money these days requires him to carry goods on top of his head, which is not an easy task to someone who is disabled. Now, all he's asking is the support so as to buy him a brand new bicycle. This would help the man as someone who is always interested in working hard and improving his life standards without waiting for someone's support. You can help Auguste to get a brand new bicycle by contributing on the GoFundMe campaign's link phone in description and pinned in top comments. Sometimes just having a positive mindset isn't enough to keep going during tough times. It often takes some external motivation to help you see beyond your current problems. Thank you for watching. I'm Elijah and this is Afrimax English. Remember to subscribe.